Synthetic peptides of protective antigens can elicit protective immunity. One route to vaccine development is the identification of the T-cell peptide epitopes that stimulate protective immunity. This can be approached in two ways. One possibility is to synthesize systematically overlapping peptides from immunogenic proteins and to test each in turn for its ability to stimulate protective immunity. An alternative, but no less arduous approach, reverse immunogenetics has been used in developing a vaccine against malaria. The immunogenicity of T-cell peptide epitopes depends on their specific associations with particular polymorphic variants of MHC molecules. The starting point for the studies on malaria was an association between the human MHC class 1 molecule HLA-B53 and resistance to cerebral malaria, a relatively infrequent com complication of infection, but one that is usually fatal. The hypothesis is that these MHC molecules are protective because they present peptides that are particularly good at evoking cytotoxic T lymphocytes. A direct route to identifying the relevant peptides is to elute them from the MHC molecules of cells infected with the pathogen. In HLA-B53, a high proportion of the peptides eluted had proline in the second of nine positions. This information was used to identify candidate protective peptides from four proteins of Plasmodium falciparum expressed in the early phase of hepatocyte infection, an important phase of infection to target in an effective immune response. One of the candidate peptides from liver stage antigen 1 is recognized by cytotoxic T cells when bound to HLA B53. This approach is being extended to other MHC class 1 and class 2 molecules associated with protective immune responses against infection. And that's synthetic peptides of protective antigens can elicit protective immunity.